The Granis Vigil of 1975-76 in Granis, Arkansas involved around 25 residents, mostly related, who secluded themselves in preparation for the anticipated return of Jesus Christ. They left their jobs, removed their children from school, gathered in a single residence with supplies for nearly 10 months. This event drew significant local and national attention highlighting the debates of religious freedom and church-state separation. The group received a divine directive to wait for Christ's return. They gathered at Jean Nance's home, leaving behind all of their personal property. A juvenile court judge intervened, returned some of the children to school, and removing others to non-participating relatives. This, this whole story was covered in the Washington Post, Arkansas Gazette, and local papers, sparking a public debate. Due to missed mortgage payments, federal marshals evicted the group on July 16, 1976. Members lost several properties and vehicles. The participants peacefully left the house, later found new homes and jobs, and regained custody of their children. This vigil highlighted the tension between religious beliefs and societal norms, as well as the legal implications of such actions.